Hi guys, I'm Miss Lin. I'm the Yaosiao teacher at Eastway Elementary School. Today, I am going to talk about and show you guys a traditional Chinese painting. So, for Chinese painting, you need brush. <clears throat> this is probably the regular size for Chinese painting brush and some Chinese painting brushes can be as big or even bigger than this brush right here. Depends on what are you trying to paint and the size of the paper. Okay, and the paper you are going to do Chinese painting on is this kind of paper. The texture is almost like a um, napkin. It's very, very soft. It's like easy to rip off and um, it's made of wood and wheat. Mixture of wheat, I think 30% of wheat and the skin of wood, 70%. So particularly today I'm going to show you this, this painting right here. It's pretty long and Miss Learned will show you guys in class. It won't fit in my screen. But as you can see, this is a picture of plum tree. It looks like cherry blossom. Probably you guys are more familiar with cherry blossom, but this is actually a painting of plum tree. So plum tree um, is opened or blossoms during winter time. Some place may they may open in um, in end of December, and some place may open late in um, March or April and the tree actually plum tree is one of my favorite trees it's first of all the flowers smell very very nice very good and the tree is only open the flowers only open for one week of period and and they die and next year, of course, they will blossom again for a week. Okay, so one thing I want to talk about in this picture is that do you see the red part? That's stamp. And actually, there are a few stamps. There's one right here, a few stamps on this uh, piece. So the stamp, the reason the artist put stamp is actually to show his or her name. They carve their names, chi Chinese traditional names, on a, or a, a jade or a piece of wood, or different materials, and then they, they stamp it on their, on their piece of work. So the font that they carve their names in is very different so sometimes even I can read Chinese but I cannot recognize um, some of the stamps the names that they, they carve so this is plum tree as you can see the color in this painting probably only black and mixture of little bit little bit light green but mainly black and you can see here, uh, there's no more stamps here. Okay, uh, there's one, there's one stamps on the top, a big one. And there's some Chinese words under it. And it's written in cursive. Although my dad actually painted this one and wrote the words, I can hardly read what he wrote. <clears throat> I can recognize his names and the date that he painted this and maybe a poem of describing how beautiful the palm tree is but besides that there are some words that I cannot even read it's a very old traditional font, Chinese font and um, cursive as well so it's, it's hard hard to read anyway so Miss um, Lerne will show you this piece in class if you behave good you might get to touch and feel the paper that traditional Chinese painting um, is painted on. And um, 
that's it. That's all I want to show you guys today. Thank you for watching. Bye.